forces him to say something and then they run with it and he doesn't have the clout to counter it while i'm away yep so um that makes sense how's golf been it's been really good that's good that's good. yeah it's been um it's been really good you know it's like you know i'm playing with my partners and they all want to play together it's it's crazy it's like well, yeah that's that's good that's what you want sometimes like uh, you know we run into like a rival team of golfers and like i'm so used to going to a course and like them just like g checking you like off the bat never met them before type shit but instead like you know they're like just it, it's just weird it's like wait this exists like this is a nice golf course but you know um yeah yeah i get that um okay um, let me see let's see numbers right now Uh, not amazing, but it's definitely better than it has been. Chat, let's not dive into political arguments in chat. It's going to go nowhere. It's an enjoyable back and forth. Let's not. I talked chat to, uh, is I talked not to DCSO valuable. DCSO yesterday. They're getting into that. You know what I mean? Move on, move on, move on. Okay. Wait, CSO. They are, they are not. Yeah. The, uh, they are not happy. I just yeah, uh, yeah let's start with you like so what's been going on uh, bcso is not happy i had a conversation yeah, CSO. bcso i had a conversation mm -hmm. with them a few days ago i'm like look i want i want like uh i want cert leads in my department and uh i don't know i guess i guess from my perspective it's like i want the lspd to be held to a certain standard and uh part of that is i, I believe that uh, like I'm not even trying to I'm not even trying to take over cert leads or split the cert lead whatever I just want leads in my department if they co-lead and all of that shit but for whatever reason they can't get it through their thick fucking skulls that that's the case and they feel like I'm trying to split everything and yeah. not make it a UPD when I mean it's not a UPD but they're pushing for a whole UPD and uh, they're like oh upd upd i'm like you guys only want upd when it's fucking beneficial to you it's it's crazy you guys want to split the meetings you want to fucking do this you want to run the air one cert you want to run the fucking you want to run the pursuit unit cert uh you want to do all this shit but i i mean yeah i basically was like i want to lead for my department and i don't know why they are so fucking hellbent they think i'm trying to check you know what the the reality is i think is I think they think I really want to tear down the BCSO and with all the back and forth, it kind of seems like I'm their fucking villain. And that's not the case. I can well, get hey, two fucks. Hold on. Okay. Let me get this straight. Um, let's, let's make it really clear. You are de de dealing with probably the most delusion party uh of individuals that i think i have ever come across in my time in los santos um the sheer notion that they even have the audacity to infer that anyone on this side is actually attempting to make like a split that goes even remotely unreasonably against what the the people of los santos um uh, the people of, of San Andreas wanted like look the state split L let's put up talk about this objectively right the state split the counties they gave two police departments their you know jurisdiction in their counties there is no unified police department referenced at all in any legislative paperwork and they have what have we done a toll booth and like the right for citizens to get processed in that county and you asking for certs in lspd so that you can give people something to look for other than rank something that daisy was talking about doing week one right everything that's sensible what have they done these fucking pussy fucks are in their own circle have hacked my laptop have made a bunch of gross statements about me controlling Daisy when we barely talk. Um, have uh, said a bunch of gross things about Daisy and her being a cadet, even though fucking their sheriff can't read, 
and uh cassidy has like i don't know some kind of issues where he just starts screaming and talking about things when you've never met him before right they have taken a bunch of your command members and brought them in right which if they wanted and, and a upd them, and put them at command by the yes. way well, if they had any actual care for San Andreas and the people in it and the future of the UPD, why would they do that, right? None. They have gone up and had officers sign. Now, this is where it gets juicy. Andy Jones has approached me once. They, met, they got so butthurt that I asked them to write something down on paper so that I could review it in the morning and give it a fair shot. They got so butthurt over that shit that they refused to speak to us and instead concoct like like uh, uh, ideas of grandeur, Tyler, none of which is baked in any reality. If it was, they would converse with us. When is the last time they have spoken to me? Never. So where is their opinion driving from? You tell me. How many fucking, like, I don't know how much, that you know, like, I'm just saying, like, how do you, it, it, let, let me ask, if a criminal told you that they were about to get raided and you haven't fucking talked to them in a month, what the fuck are you going to start thinking? Where is this information coming from, right? How, even if something leaks out, why would you ever take it as fact, right? Now, even worse, they went up against our legislation, didn't communicate it, and they're telling us we're dividing it? No, it's fucking dog shit. Now, you want to know something worse? You ready for this? You ready for this fucking tea? Yep, I'm listening. This morning, I uh, went and started to review uh, business applications, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what is the only business that has been approved in the last couple months? Uh, and recently that? so. A business no belonging to Eve Summers. The now deputy mayor of Blaine County. Wait, he left? Yep. The moment I, when I uh, had my doubts about Vivian, and I was just unsure because Vivian was very flaky. She couldn't figure out who exactly uh, her structure would look like. And ultimately, when I wanted to interview Jimbo Sutton, um, I brought her and Tilly. Why? Because I wanted to hear their opinion, right? Um, but for some reason, the moment that it was even questioned or thought that Vivian may not be the one, and I wanted to, uh, check options when, oh no, it wasn't her. It was you. I forgot. Do you remember how many questions she asked you? This is observatory. She didn't ask me a single Peters. one. She didn't ask me a single one. Before that conversation, she was so absolutely mad that anyone other than Vivian was uh, being... I have never seen a more severe case of entitlement in my life. She out of she did not help us campaign pre-election. She did not help get votes post-election. She showed up in for two meetings in a span of of those two weeks she did not provide opinions she sat there the most she said was uh, the only thing she did was receive i gave her the chamber of commerce i looked beyond her lack of attendance i looked beyond the fact that she produced like probably one percent of anything and this is all documented right like and if she produced something what was it she wrote the fucking coc document based on my vision like congratulations but the moment that Vivian, who, by the way, is a soon-to-be mother-in-law, was, I had doubts about it, she got so mad, and she pulled the, you don't listen to me, bullshit, when she wasn't actually giving an opinion other than, but you already said it was her. And so the reason she didn't ask you anything is she was so pissed, and that's why it was so fucking awkward, because Tilly was all asking all the questions. Now tell me this, how do you sit there silent I have no questions for you 
and and say that this is that that her opinion is not being listened to why the fuck would i have brought her but regardless she started acting strange the moment that happened then she disappeared and went to blaine county now you tell me this how is it that the only business that andy has approved is her own deputy mayor's business What the fuck? Wait. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a second one that's approved. My bad. You ready? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm Siobhan Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Max Thoroughbred's wife. And uh, the one who, out of the blue, was actively campaigning against the legislation in Los Santos County. <laughs> and I've got it all. I was in such fucking shock this morning. I'm like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> what, what are the businesses, by the way? Uh, it's a... Uh, um, let me take a look. Bro, these guys, they I, they have projected so hard that they are just telling us what I'm at, their master plan is. Tyler. This, it's all fucking horse shit. What, you can't have your own lead? Why? Who's pushing for UPD? Who took your fucking offices? Who at the mo drop of a hat uh, are using the chip of, well, we got all the cops now, therefore you guys need us? Bullshit. They don't give a fuck about anything about them other than themselves. And by the way, I also documented every application that is not approved. So it's like fucking 4K shit. How is all these other Blaine County ones not approved, but Siobhan's and fucking and Eve Summers is? Uh, it's Thoroughbred Consulting, which is we'll change a future once additional properties required reserving. It doesn't even. It's literally consultation, project management, events, contests, and more. Providing consulting across a variety of diverse industries. The next one is um, where is it? Hold on. Oh, it's called the cauldron. You, you good? Wait, did you not hear me? No, you. it's just silent. Oh, the cauldron. And hers is fully approved. And, who, and that's... Uh... Deputy Mayor Eve Summers. And, and now one of two it, things happen. Is it like a food thing? Or yeah, it's a food thing. A bar? Okay. Yeah. So we got a consultant agency and the cauldron. Yeah. I mean. Imagine it, so I go you, approve everyone in my cabinet's business. Well, I mean, to to be fair, those are probably the only two people that actually live in that shithole of the county. No, no, there's other. That's what I'm saying, Tyler, is that the others are not. How many there's other more businesses have been, uh, so uh, been like there's about another i i think uh nine in blaine county huh. <laughs> yeah yeah anyways so what how uh, did how, how uh, so well what what came out of this like uh lead shit? I'm stuck on that other shit. Wait, which one? Well, everything now. Is Eve related to Viv? Yeah, I told you. So Eve, well, not related oh, directly. Nakoda, yeah, yeah. Okay, the okay. one who set up the legend, he is Eve's, like, fucking boyfriend. This came out at a meeting, right? Because she started, they brought it up, and we dug into it. That's a boyfriend. And Nakoda is Viv's kid. Oh, my. So, okay, yes. so... And then Viv was going around running her mouth about me, and that's yep. why. Oh my God! Okay, 
Yep. Which I mean, she's still, she's still, uh, he still got it out for me. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even understand that whole thing. She, she made a comment yesterday at the meeting where she's like, uh, Trig tried to kill me during a shootout. And I was like, good job, Trig. And it was like a, it was like a joke. And she, and, and all of a sudden serious tone comes. She's like, Peters, what's your fucking problem with me? <laughs> and I was at what? the meeting. I was like, I was like, what are you, I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, telling me you want me to die. I was like, well, it was a, she's like, you're always doing this shit. And I was like, what well, was a, it was a lighthearted joke. I was like, can you give me another example of any time I've ever done anything to you? Yeah. And she's like, no. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, there's just resentment there. I mean, it is what it is. I'm surprised she didn't go to BCSO, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, e yeah, yeah, no, I, um, I, I, I'm still trying to get a, a sense of this. So like, what, 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 what did they say? Are they, do they not want it? Like, I, what? Oh yeah. So, okay. So back to the BCSO shit with the, uh, cert. So, uh, basically I don't, I just want, uh, I, I think that we've created a lot of opportunity for people within the departments. Um, obviously we have to be careful and we don't want everybody starting a unit for the sake of starting a unit and then we can't fucking monitor everything, but yeah, uh, my whole thing is uh, like, I want to give people in LSP, it, it, I guess what it comes down to is building a culture within the LSPD. And I think, yeah, you kind of foster that by putting people in charge of certain things. And then, you know, they fucking take on other people, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know where I'm going with this. So mm. they're like, uh, they're like we need to we need to like uh we want to do air one lead with bay weather but obviously we can't do that per the new legislation um i'm like yeah well i also want to do that with the so uh, they took bay weather who was gonna be given air cert which daisy had told me and now they want to give an air cert over there and this is daisy kind of spoke to me about this like a couple days ago Mm -hmm. is like oh but you know they want this like upd one and i'm like bro that's just you know I, like it's not my business to say how you guys handle certs but there needs to be somebody regardless of what their role is somewhere that someone that's familiar with air shit that works with the civilian contact that hands out air licenses like it's just and and there was an issue with that with them as far as i'm aware which doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't know why they want to eat everything. Like, whatever happened to giving other people opportunities? I, I just, that's the bit that annoys me. It's so fucking greedy. And, and if you so choose that you want your own cert, who gives a fuck? What, are they going to have all of them? He, he, I mean, that's that's the whole thing. Is they do they want fucking Bones is running uh, the cargo fat the pursuit unit. Um, they want Air One. They want a Bayweather to do it, and it's just like you know. Are they been, trying uh, to be like the scuff troopers? Like that? Hey, like I'm down. I'm down at the. Uh, I'm down at the. I'm down at the uh, fucking airfield. If you want to come down here. Yeah, we're just. Uh, I'm just chatting with the mayor. You're more than invited. Just uh, do you care if Hannah's here? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. All right, I'll see you down here. I just I don't it, know. It, it, I, it's I, so fucking greedy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they I, to me every time I talk to you and Daisy, it just feels like they're pushing their agenda down your throat and then crying like foul when you're trying to do your own thing like i yeah, just well, i don't know it's i i'm actually like it, it's actually getting extremely frustrating hearing the second hand um i i mean i don't have uh like i i was like i, I kind of wouldn't it went into this like uh thinking that i could fix everything but then like the more i realized it's like yo all i'm fucking responsible for is the lspd and I think it's better that way. And I mean, I, I'm going to do, uh, Daisy and I are going to do everything we think is necessary to make sure that this department runs smoothly, that officers are trained well, um, that it's future proofed, all of that shit. And uh, the more I do, the, the more I kind of like, I should say, the more we try to implement things, the more I realize 
that there's a lot of just fucking dog shit policing and it feels like they don't want to do anything to correct it or change yep so well you know i mean it's kind of like hey hannah what's going on hey how you doing there ass chief and mr you've been Man. saying out of doing here. okay not too hannah bad hannah fucking oh you're being sued hannah yeah, I got two court cases against me. They're both bullshit. I don't know how this fucking uh, Bobby Charles, the cadet, fucked up this court case to where I posted a picture of an illegally parked fucking, uh, the, the illegally parked dump truck. And then uh, apparently it wasn't illegally parked. Should have gave him reckless driving or some shit when the vehicle wasn't moving. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Uh, what about the uh, excessive force, excessive use of force? I didn't basically. hit that, man. I I know I. I didn't hit that man or that woman. I hit the bike. I don't um, see no medical reports. Fuck them. Uh yeah, keep that on the road. Just take that to court. If they don't have a medical report, I'm pretty sure this is a fucking e easy win. And your do you hear about that? I, I'm pretty sure that stemmed from fucking Cassidy as well. Which one? I wouldn't be surprised if he told them to sue you, Hannah. All right. I, I mean, that'll come out in court when I'm asking them questions. Um, you, you're saying that like these guys aren't willing to lie that's fine i mean listen that'd be beneficial for me Hannah, let me let me tell you something to lie when's the last time a business has been approved uh, i ain't seen no businesses being approved there mr mayor from what i hear it hasn't been about three months at least yeah one just got approved guess who's got oh, approved yeah you're gonna love this you're gonna love this hannah leave who's some of us the deputy approved? mayor but uh, up in so by yeah. Andy Jones, she's her so she supports her own cabinet's businesses. Ain't that uh, illegal? <laughs> I don't think they. Wait, I don't think they illegal? understand ethic. Yes, yeah, yeah. of course Ethically, it is. Yeah, ethically and and there's no way that it's not. It's it, it, you're abusing your power. Yeah, it's a hundred percent abuse of power. I mean, what did Andy Jones approve the business herself? Yeah, she has to. The mayor's That's the only one works. that can do it. That seems like uh, pretty good. Uh, I mean, that seems like. Uh, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't see. Oh, hold on now. This, the only this thing gets, that was moving was you, and nothing's moving. This gets crazier, actually. Let's say somebody investigates it. Uh, she gets impeached. Who's it supposed to go to? Who's the mayorship supposed to go to? Uh, it would be the deputy mayor, right? I, there's no legislation around that, right? I I don't know. Be removed from office. I mean, yeah, the way I look it would at be it a new election. All the yeah, all the cabinet would be removed currently because there is no legislation around it. It's hey, actually I have no problem going up there and cracking down on it, asking some questions. Uh, fuck, actually, I don't really give a fuck. Maybe do Bobby yeah, Childs do? becomes the. Mm. Here's the thing: I don't really trust the uh, the system. I'm going to be honest with you. After I watch legislation change from underneath me. Like, uh, you know, I I could wake up tomorrow and the legislation's changed to stop whatever I'm I'm contemplating. Yeah, I don't like that. It, it 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 is nasty. It is gross. It is like it, well beyond the the concept of like you know you know but you shouldn't do it but you do it anyways and then lead we're on. We're in an authoritarian dictatorship. What it seems yeah. like there's no um there's no power to contest at anything really it seems like the judges have the supreme say and you mayors are just placeholders that uh, everything can be contested i i don't even know if what happened was even legal but i had to ask myself the question right am i going to invest my energy in building up businesses and helping people or going into a rat nest that is so fucking dirty that you're probably going to just uh come out s smelling like shit so instead i'm just going to lean on the uh the fucking court of public uh public opinion once this shit starts wow. getting out there people people are gonna fucking people are gonna make up their own mind and do what they need to you know can i tell you what my issue is mr mayor and ass chief i yeah, hate absolutely. the excuse if it's not written in legislation then it's okay to do i mean we all have a concept of morals and ethics and we all understand when something you know ain't ain't the way it should be we shouldn't have to go through this process of uh disproving it's just such a slow fucking process. It's like things move fast. You know what I mean? Things just need to change, you know, now rather than later. Otherwise, it's going to be a month, a month and a half 
maybe even two months from now before things actually get fucking moving. Yeah. And then by then, the damage will already be done, and people won't want to put the energy uh, uh, man Thank or man power into changing anything. That's, that's the exact reason why we wrote so much legislation. And I had to hear this, like, fucking brain-dead bullshit about we tried to sneak a bunch of shit through. I'm sorry we're not lazy, and we tried to get ahead of the curve. And then what felt like just an artificial pushback. Uh, Fred, I still don't even know Tana. officially, Hannah, why half of my legislation was denied or was put up the contest. I mean, this guy kind of does look there like There has Fred. to be. Here's the thing. You can't just contest legislation. There has to be a claim and then a, con a contention. Yeah. You can't just say, fuck this motherfucker, contest this shit. Yeah. There has to be a fucking valid statement, a claim of concern, and then you can actually go somewhere. Right now, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Get everybody into a fucking room and talk about it? I mean, that's, that's what they were, to organize. That's what some people like Ursula was telling me. It's like, well, you didn't talk to people. Like, are you fucking dumb? It's in the state announcement. It's on the fucking city hall thing. What are you supposed to like... You know, I get like I sit outside the fucking airport and as people wake up, I'm like, okay, have you do you have any questions? It, it literally like there's no semblance of like common sense. Like it's actually insane. Like you could have. Anyways, I yeah, the the, the way that it should work is someone contests it. It needs to be up uh, uh, like in, in a courtroom setting. You know what I mean? You should have to make a statement to the public. Um, it has to be a statement of claim that the public has to be aware of. You can't just, in the mid dead of night, fucking force legislation to come to a fucking stop. Yeah. I mean, that's... I mean, well, I guess, and you know, that is sometimes how things works, but at least people can look up the information, understand what it is, and have a, a knowing as to why it's happening. Yeah. Let's say for, in theory, right, this business legislation that had to go, had to go back up, Let's say it, it fails the vote for whatever reason, right? People are fucking cooked. We've been campaigning for five weeks. First the mayorship and then the fucking legislation, fucking working ourselves down to the bone. Let's say this fails. We will not know why it failed. Always great RP. We will not know why the original contest happened. So what do we do? We just repost it. How do you ever know that you talked to the person that had the issue? It, and that's it, why if you do that type of stuff, it should be public forum, public information with your statement of claim in your yeah. name so that you can actually... Viking, they seven like a months. reason for contention, reach a conclusion. Here's yeah. the thing, right, that I see is that everything is going to come to a fucking halt. I mean, people always tell me... It already is. Me, hey, it already well, is. Well, I mean, how do we fix it? You know, how do you, how do you fix it? You know, what needs to be done? Do you need to sit down with the chief I'm, justice I, and the I'm judges, telling you so, right now, I... That bl Andy will not be the man next next term, if not sooner. And I know how I have the votes. Oh shit! You'll go be the mayor, Sandy Shores after this. Oh, whoever's in my political party. Andy's writing legislation that the blame. Uh, I I was just reading over the Constitution. So the argument I I, I was just thinking about the whole appointing the lead. And I'm like, what if one day somebody like Soze shows up and just says that fucking uh, the BCSO is forced to patrol up north and I, we can't have fucking. So that was the other thing about having a lead. Um, but he's like, the, the Constitution can't be changed. It was like, it's already changed once. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, but anyway, uh, so I'm going through Wait, reading, which, which legislation? Um, the Constitution and just cross referencing certain legislation, but in. Appointment to the sheriff, Andy names the police department as a unified police department. Where? Uh, appointment to the sheriff. The Blaine County Sheriff's Office will have one week to provide a list of five names of members from within the unified police department. Well, how does that work? Because that means that they can essentially just pass the same names around and there's no way to contest any type of uh, BCSO any any real changes because they'll just keep passing it around and have shadow leaders and shit like that or people that uh that doesn't make any sense to me doesn't seem logical that would be like uh, uh how are you ever supposed to change anything if you have to let them pick the names that you can pick from mm. see I, I i i don't even give a fuck what they're doing up north 
they can just that's how i look at it you know what i mean um i i uh i'm sort of at that point where i'm like i'm gonna build up los santos get this political party up and going maybe i step aside for someone to take this i go up north and just delete all their legislation i'm on that burn that shit down bullshit right now i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it a buck <laughs> so and it's starting by getting rid of bones and cassidy well according to legislation that's already in they pick the the people well that's according to the constitution but then she basically has legislation for blaine county uh called appointment to the sheriff yeah i'm reading that one where it says should the blaine county sheriff's office fail to provide a total of five names of mayor blaine county reserves right to make their own selection i mean all they got to do is pick five names you know what i mean well it becomes irrelevant right gentlemen because you can um any of the legislation that we write can be altered right like i got tax code in there we're looking to change it this week you just push it through the legislation thing and like whether it's removing legislation whether it's altering it none of what she wrote is binding not a single thing in there is binding it's only binding while she's in office yeah it's fucking crazy so some of the wording there is just like like effectively like hey be, guys we're gonna do things like this way but none of it fucking matters like it doesn't you could bobby charles can win the next election and just delete all the legislation well doesn't he have to go th i mean don't they have to go through like a process of no removal, they just post it? it they just say this is no longer valid and then they wait three days worst case someone contests it but who's gonna contest like hey like if you just say like hey we want to put a new sheriff in place bcso is like treating civilians in los santos like shit you'll have the entire fucking city vote on it's very easy what are the fucking doj gonna step in and be like no we actually like this one i mean how do bones and cassidy pull you know what i mean like Here's the thing, right? Are people, I mean, is it the, like, what's the, what's the opinion on like them outside of a, of the PD? You know what I mean? Um, they won an election. Yeah. They, yeah, they blew out, um, Conwood. I ain't never met him. Conwood is fought to the bone, uh, for the sheriff's office and uh the moment it was approved um there was an election and there was a lot of votes casted allegedly by bones based on uh payments that said i don't know how much of that's actually true because i mean it was a bit of a blowout i'm gonna be honest yeah but like, bones and cassie don't even run that department yeah that that is true it's declan that runs everything so that that's new for me that what what makes you say that exactly? Base, thank you for the three months. Uh, what makes me say that? Yeah. Because anytime I have uh anytime I need to talk about issues, I have to go to Declan because Bones and Cassidy just won't talk to me. Okay, uh, that's the same they, they experience I had with the intercept the legislation. They, um i am i mean that yeah that's uh it's literally i don't know i know i know you're not a big fan of declan but the honest guy me is, I, I don't yeah. i don't know i i'm not i don't really have an opinion no i actually like declan declan was okay. the only officer i've dealt with in the cells that could articulate charges yeah so declan that's is, all i know uh, about him De uh, yeah declan's the person i have to go to if i want to talk about changes because he's the only one that will have a proactive I guess it would be a proactive conversation to try to change things anytime I talk to them it's just like uh well specific, actually Cassidy especially it's just passive aggressiveness he can't collect his thoughts failure to look at situations or even anything by that matter not situations objectively 
yeah, I mean, it was clear as day to me when I had a meeting with Cassidy and Bones to try to talk about what their problems were. And the only thing that they brought up was the act legislation. And that's the moment I was like, these guys are just the uh, puppets. I mean, he trains everyone. He makes suggestions on rank. Um, I, don't, I, I honestly don't know why he's not even fucking high command at this point. It's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, has there been anything else going on that I need to be aware of? Uh, air, the air shit we're going to do this week. I need to talk to Bill because he opened it up and he's been asking people to reach out to him. So I got to beat his ass down, you know, metaphorically uh, for doing things out of line. Um, until you guys have someone, like we're going to do interviews in advance, right? Just so we have a list of names. But until you guys have like a like an air lead or whatever the fuck, I, it doesn't matter to me whether they're the main air cert, just someone in LSPD that just says, okay, this civilian's good, he can fly. I think that's the other thing, like the fucking, whoever's working with the air, so so whatever air lead we have for this doesn't have to be our cert lead, which is Correct. what I was trying to explain to Declan, and he's just like, how does that make any sense? I was like, this is this legislation is specifically about licenses and nothing else. Has I, nothing have these with- fucking brain deads like actually fucking read anything? Or are they uh, reading they, it through like they like, have but it's just their perceived notions or uh, preconceived notions uh of what it's it's literally we updated it to make it clear because they're already fucking crying about it in the first one so we made it even more clearer it is literally the position simply says that someone in lspd for an lspd marshal like for lspd uh air master this just saying are, do they have crimes? Do they know how to fly? That's like it. Yep. I, I, I don't I know, know how more plainly it needs to be. Like, do I need to put a fucking TikTok video in there? Probably. Um, hey, uh, can you uh, start a circle? Get everyone down here. Bill's down. Start uh, kicking off the meeting. And then we'll link up in about like 10 minutes. Yeah? Yep. Yep. All right. I got you. Thank you. Um. Yeah, it's fucking... Whatever. It is. Gotta be honest with you, man. It, and it's, it's the chief. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what's going on up north. I just don't want to see things not be moving down here because of. Uh, shit, yeah, that's right? not. That's, that's exactly a, where I'm at. Um, hey. we were gonna go and contest all their legislation, and then I woke up one morning and I'm like, why am I gonna play their fucking middle school games? Fuck that shit. No one gives a fuck. Let them play their fucking games and let them piss people off, right? And then when the there's a fucking like riot outside of their house for all this bullshit or the shit that's happening people are gonna see it right people aren't stupid right they they, they are digging their own fucking grave whether it's the the, the uh, notions in the past whether it's them trying to take all these fucking certifications or whether they're fucking approving businesses strictly for their own cabinet like people are not gonna jive well with that and that alone is gonna tip the scales of the election God, you know you know it would really piss uh Wow. What if I post it on Tawada? No, no, I was just thinking about the cert lead. If I made Hannah in charge of the air cert, somebody that just doesn't. Do you know how to fly a helicopter? No, Hannah? don't. I'm no, no, afraid no, no. of heights. Uh, Tyler, it's got to be somebody, it, you know. You know it, I know, I know. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. I wouldn't do that. But it would be funny. Yeah. I'm not going to do Because I can't fly and I'm afraid of heights. Yes. Yeah, and I, you can't swim either, Hannah. I, so I, I Hannah think. Can't I think, uh, because I came to this realization before, is that let them fucking do what they're doing. Just fuck it and just use what they're doing as a as a way to push your political narrative. That they, 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 all you have to do is point out the facts. They don't want you having certs. They're contesting our law, right? We're trying to build up Los Santos and just do what is best for the county. And if they get in the fucking way, you let people know why they're getting in the way, and they'll just look bad just because of it. That, that's why we got three extra votes. I just told the truth. That could be Have verified. Been, uh, I mean, w- would it be beneficial to be transparent with the public down here in Los Santos County about how we can't get any legislation through because of yep. people? Up, uh, that's how we got three extra votes. Every fucking person in Los Santos knows it. And the only crew that had an issue was ADMC because they're, they're tight with Andy. Which, by the way, um, you know, we'll see how long that lasts. I was probably going to last a while, but uh, uh, people are aware. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, you got another meeting? Yeah, I got I gotta meet with my cabinet. The Rika case is uh, next tsunami. So are right they coming? The are they coming down here? Yeah, they're gonna oh, come fuck. down. Oh uh, fuck! Kit had to. Did you? You saw that whole fucking that whole other case? Uh, Dominic Rhodes. Did you hear yeah. about that? Hmm. I heard it's going to trial. Uh, Ma said that she went. Um, no, no, I think I think it already happened. Ma said she just opened. She just sung like a a canary. Is that the term? Yeah, he just sung like a canary and said everything. Yeah, yes, yeah. so I guess that's what she did for that. I don't know. Oh. The Rhodes one. The Rhodes one's gonna be interesting. What time is that in? I, I might come down there. Uh, two p.m. EST or EST? Uh, so in forty-five minutes. I ain't oh. gonna be there. Uh, where are you gonna be, Hannah? Out on patrol, busting shit up. Okay. Probably off the grid. I move different sometimes. You missed a fucking huge bus yesterday. I still don't know what happened with that. I gotta talk to him. What happened? Um, somebody by the name of Forehead has been doing illegal auctions out of a pawn shop on the south side. And uh, the first time I was down there, they were selling. Uh, I had to go off duty. I couldn't find command to approve it, but I went down there. Uh, off duty, dressed up with the separate SIM card and like the whole thing. But uh, they were selling martial equipment, firearms, weapons crates. Just uh, anybody document any of that? Oh, I documented all of it, and then I, I gave it to I think I gave it to Dan, and they they ended up doing a he had another auction yesterday. Oh, I should probably let you guys be aware of this. Uh, Slacks approached me last week. Who's that? Wait, he's out of ICU? Yeah. Uh, okay, what did... Um... I don't know what he was saying. It was a long, like, 40-minute, like, monologue on different things. Um... He blames Tilly's kid for looking through the cell phone. And, uh, I think he's become a terrorist hiding in the mountains and he said armageddon is coming he said armageddon's coming yeah and if any of this doesn't make any sense trust me when i said we spent 20 minutes afterwards trying to understand what he was why he met with me and tilly and what the intention of the conversation was or what it meant but um he may have lost his like mind brain and he, damage yeah i that actually that does make sense was it like like brain damage prior to the ic thing or I, I don't know um but you know just know that he's talking about going in the mountains and armageddon's coming so that's you know those two things usually you know historically lead to, to domestic terrorism i'm just he saying could fucking be taking over soze's cave oh you know about that i didn't know about the cave no yeah, there's a there's a cave with a bunch of um it looks like sealed crates with grenades and a cot. Um I use it I use it as a meeting place a lot because it's kinda of off the grid and I stumbled across it, but then somebody was like, Oh yeah, that's Soze's cave. Hey, do Marshall's patrol now ask you? Because I was hearing them on our radio on a fucking call. Who? Hey. I heard a couple of I got I gotta go to this meeting. We yeah, can uh, yeah. You, well, uh, you got a ride? You need my. Uh, no, I should be good. I'll go with the. Uh, okay, here, let's go. Let's go on, dude. All right. All right, gentlemen, you stay. Yeah, yeah. I'll meet you at the PD, or do you need a ride? No, I'll just hop in. You know. I'll leave my car. Uh, hi, Nina. It's Jackie Snow.